Hey folks, Quilly Dean here to welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as air over here. Uh, we've recently gone and vassalized Funj, a bunch of fun guys over here, and we would like to make some moves on Ethiopia soon. We, okay, we got this diplomat back. We're gonna, right, we're gonna fabricate on Tlemkin, that's gonna be good. Um, we are improving, um, right, with one of our allies automatically, and we're improving here so that at some point we'll be able to annex them, well, it's fairly far away. Uh, Ethiopia would ally and everything, which of course, you know, makes total sense. And uh, no neighboring provinces, so even though we have a vassal here, I can't fabricate on you. Any chance that Funj has claims over here? No, that's too bad. Urgh. I guess what we'll do is we might look down here. Um, any chance... No, owns core provinces and you have too much stuff. What about Lunda? Is there any chance any of these might be willing to accept? A diplo vassalization. We own a bunch of these core provinces of these guys. Oh, here we would. And we are going to expand here because there's a trade node here um, that we would like their trade to funnel more towards us. So we might as well ally with Chakwe over here. As long as we get the plus 190 with them, which we only got the minus 10 of different religion. Yeah, let's just do that. Boom, done. You don't have any weird cores. You have claims. Oh, you consider this to be your core. Interesting. So if we took that over, we could give it give them land, but that might grow them too much to get cranky. If they're already vassalized, then it'd be fine, though. Yeah, we'll have to see. Uh, we're not going to need everything over here. I'm going to grab one of these dudes and bring them down here. Yeah, yeah, you can stop drilling. It's going to be fine. Dishonored Alliance has expired in air. Hooray! People are no longer cranky about us doing that. I don't remember what it was. Was it Morocco got declared on and we said no? I feel like that might, or maybe they didn't get declared on. They may have started something. I feel it was something like that. We could consider colonizing some bits over here. Should we? We'll have to put some soldiers there. It would give some interesting naval range options. They're all 111. Land of Fire. Tierra del Fuego. Let's do it. And then, y'all over here. I'm just going to grab two infantry, which is going to be more than enough. Because there's, there's very few people over there at all. And we're going to colonize that, mostly just to use as a naval base. This contentment has expired. That sounds like a very good thing for us. We can make more states. So Seuss is 30 development. Where is... Where is Seuss? Uh, that's over here. And we have all that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Because we, um, we just took this territory from Morocco. There's half decent amount of development. Um, they're still going to have a lot of autonomy. So it may not pay off right away. But, um, yeah, that's going to be all right. Boom. That's core. And then, yeah, we have no admin again because we did tech up as well. Now, let's take a look at our institution situation here. Has it actually popped in any of these? No, but it's going to grow pretty damn fast. It's already an air. How come it's already an air? Oh, so it spawned in Yangzhou. Oh, my God. That's amazing. So Europe might be... Well, no, it's still going to spread fairly quickly. Everyone's got manufactories. This is a pretty easy one to get. Getting attritioned a little bit on the way to there, which is slightly annoying, but not a big deal. We're making friends over here. They're no longer disloyal, which is nice to see. Uh, you're being attritioned because you're on a boat. Yep, that's fine. That's fine and fair. We might be able to grab a couple of random provinces over here, too, and it looks like the answer is very much yes. And it might not be a bad thing to have a little bit of base of operation, just to say. 
I mean, it might lead to more war. Um, I don't think we even bother putting any kind of fort on it or anything. Because it would be annoying for us to counterattack there. And fort could be worth a lot of um, war score. I, I don't know. Maybe it's meaningless, but it feels kind of fun. I mean, we're going to play... We're going to be colonial. We're going to be one of those things. Except these colonial forts all over the place. Uh, I don't actually have... Oh, no, I do have the conquest ability. That's all going to be fine. And Lunda's going to jump in as well. Um, and Lunda's fine for us to take over. Penis-shaped country over here. It's pretty dong-like. I mean, come on. <laughs> uh, let's Let's be serious here. And by being completely mature. All right, you're gonna move down here, so you're adjacent. Actually, what you'll probably do is we'll probably start you off adjacent to Donglan over here, um, and we'll take them out of the war first. They got a pretty good general over here. Uh, let's get the um, let's get the guy with the most siege pips. Ready to go, and you'll get a new leader here, so that you can go back to drilling. Excellent. And we will go and um, explore. Here, do some more of these seas. Great Mosque and Air is done. Ooh, that's a very big province. Lost some claims on Rund. Which costs us the CBs against Kalundwe. Which is fine, I think, actually. And this is one where I don't... Oh, no, I do have a CB. And we're in position. Let's go for it. Any chance we'd want to Kobolodrize you? I don't think that matters. No. Okay. Boom. This is going to give us some legalism. And we're going to march in on this guy. Castile is going to attack Zhu or we or whatever. You're still waiting on that. We can make some more states. I mean, they're not huge tax bases here. In particular, like, you know, it's nice to see five of five provinces, which is a lot, but it's only 21 development, which means each province is very little development. And fort level one, so we hardly need anything. We're 20% as is. We're overkilling it on cannons. Truce with Plemkin ended. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was that near. All right. I tell you what, come over here. Level 1 fort, sure. You don't have a leader, although we can... Boom. Grab a uh, two siege pip guy. And do that. Come on, 90. Mamluks, they were building a spy network. Okay, fine. Tlemkin, we are going to fabricate some claims. What uh, I don't know, all, all over you. Uh, we'll do we'll do this one here actually. Adjacent to Morocco might be a very convenient thing for us to do, but continue to fabricate. That's going to be okay. And you're just building up some relations. Even even Funj likes us again, which is nice. Okay, split here and here. Take you. We might have to wait for things to tick up a little bit. We well, suppose we could decide to vassalize you as well. Again, we sort of want to save some admin. I mean, it takes up more of a relationship slots, but... Oh! Uh, we have military access through Ethiopia that we can cancel. And... Yeah, we need that royal marriage with Tlemkin to dissolve itself. Now, we can royal marry here, because... Yeah, see, the vassalization, they're particularly pleased with this. Um, cancel you as well. Culture conversion done. We'll set up the royal marriage and then we'll try to remember to start improving relations with them. Done, done, done. You're going to come over here. You're going to go over there. I mean, they have an army roaming around somewhere, but it's meaningless. Pilgrims are safe. Good. Uh, don't we? Have, this is these guys. Didn't I already? I think I just asked them, so. We have our 90 of that. Move there, move there, smash that, go. 
Dun, 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 dun. All right, we'll hit 100% in the war relatively soon. And even if it means they're full annexation, they won't be able to say no. And improve relations. So we just got to get us up to 190. The rogue nation will be a thing. So we're going to we're gonna add 100 here. Actually, no, we're already at 11. Uh, so we won't quite get there, but we can, we can do it with a gift and or subsidies just to bring them over the the hump to the next level. Boom. All right, I guess I was moving you there. Just, uh, just go and stand over here. And hopefully you don't get bought by the larger army, which is... Where the hell are you going? I have no idea where this guy is trying to go. Very bizarre. Like, he's going to walk to the other side of our entire country here. Uh, no peace offer yet. Oh, you've done that, so you can come here. Excellent. So, I guess, yeah, we won't diplovas we won't vassalize you. Um, diplovassalizing here makes a lot of sense. But we've got relationship slot issues. So, if we were to just eat you all up. But this would lead us to over 100. Really? All right. We'll do that much. That's fine. We'll leave you with just the tip. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Da. If we had Kobelidride them or whatever, we would have been able to take more stuff. But that's fine. Um, oh, they've got the rebel army that popped up over here. Because they had peasants that popped. That's kind of annoying. How dare you have peasants pop in land that I'm about to take from you. It's very rude, you know. Right, you stand there. And yeah, you two go over there. It's going to be fine. Uh, so yeah, we're at 100% over here. And, oh, I don't have a diplomat. I'm like, why can't I right-click on this? Yes, not having a diplomat will do that. Can I just take it all? No. No, I cannot. So we can leave you with your capital. That brings us to 95. Okay, so that's more valuable. 96. Here, yeah, we'll do that. We'll split them in half because it's great to abuse the UI, the AI by doing that. Um, we could keep it going a little bit longer because we I don't actually have the points to core anything right now. And we'll just be overextended. So let's try to cut back on how long we're going to be overextended here. Alright, do more C's. Oh, you are parked at war. You don't, you really don't need to be parked for this war. Culture conversion is done. Excellent. Ignore you. Yeah, see, we don't even have enough admin to core the stuff we've already got. So, yeah, we'll keep this going for a while. We'll get the call for peace after a bit. But, oh, you moved out. Well, that's very convenient of you. So you can just harass these guys and give them a really, really brutal time. More legalism. Yeah, that's fine. We really need a lot more admin. We have a level 3 dude. We're focused over here. It's only 8. If, uh, if this leader died, it would be a huge boost to our admin growth. I'm going to go and stand over here. Subject of our currently holds land to which we have a claim. Seed Soba to air. Oh. Oh, because, yeah, we have a claim. Um, but no, we don't. We really don't want to do that. And we don't have a core. We just have a claim. Um, and we don't, yeah, we don't have to build a core. So we will renounce the claim and the core. I don't know if it's going to give them a boost. Oh, I think I hit enter through another window here, but... Damn you, admin points. Why you gotta be so annoying? Such a limiter. Oh, they must have enforced the demands over there. Okay. And we'll do some rebel suppression over like this. I don't know why these guys never merged. They're trading in the same land. I don't know. Let's make another core. Really need our leader to die. Oh, you know what I can do to increase the chance of that happening? I can make our king into a ruler and then assign him to an army. Uh, and that will double his chance of dying every month. 
which is already higher because of his age. We got a fair amount of cash. We may as well just take this opportunity to repay that last loan. That way we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we still have a fair amount of money left over as well. Any other great moss that might be good? Um, yeah, these are places that already have the temples, so they're not that expensive to build. So I'm going to go for it. Again, the break-even point's going to be a little different. It's a little bit more expensive to build, and we don't have that much game time left. But I'm still going to build it anywhere that is at least 0.10. It's probably fine. If that's an upgrade, right? If we're going from 0 to 0.10, it's not worth it. In that case, I would need a 0 to 0 0.2. Or point twenty, I should say, if I'm keeping a pattern, even though that doesn't actually make sense numerically. Shut up. It's fine. Uh, Tlemkin, more claims is definitely something that we're going to do. <laughs> You're occupying random stuff over here, which is vaguely annoying, but not a deal breaker. I guess this army over here can go and see if we can smash these guys. Why are they sieging over here? I guess because there's no forts whatsoever. If I built a fort just here, they would have been choke pointed, but it's not particularly important. I'm just sieging here because it's probably high value provinces and. It'll annoy me. And the AI is designed to annoy players. More than be effective is what I'm going to look at it. Uh, right, they're, they're doing stuff. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, another war did start here. Interesting. Go away. We're not going to peace out quite yet. Uh, I can start coring this, though, which is good. And then, yeah, we'll continue to bank as many points as possible. I think if the month ticks while your leader is in a battle, it also increases the chance of them dying. I suppose what I could do is... I don't know if sieges um, apply to that. Probably not. Yeah, we're trying to have our leader die. It will cost us a stability. And it does suck to sort of lose our plus three stability status, but it's not particularly important. And there might be some event that would boost our stability anyway, and we'd be like, oh, it's just wasted. Mm-hmm. And... Keep uh, making sure to cap out our allies, I suppose. It's going to be okay. I don't know if that will also apply to our vassals, but it might, and that would be handy. We're going to go ahead and fabricate another claim. So we got that. We'll fabricate a claim on the other side. Um, this thing here. Thukbukt. Thubakt. Thubakt sounds like a Klingon word. Come here. I don't think we'll ever catch any of these things. No, move. We're just gonna keep running around being annoying. Although if we do catch them, then our, our vassal here will be able to just desiege things for us. That is handy. Like it's the anti-annoyance factor is just like offloading some of these like annoying CG behaviors to your vassal. Like, hey, can you take care of this for me? That'd be swell, thanks. I mean, I could force march, but what would be the point in spending some, you know, power here? Nada. Bet he's gonna work his way all the way back here. Here. Yeah, cancel rebel suppression. We'll just meet that guy part way. So we're just gonna keep sitting on this war for now. And we're at 99 because we don't actually, you know, have all the territory over here. But they would, they would be, allow themselves to get fully annexed. Done and done. Um, rebel mode. Still seems fine. No more rebel factions are really building up, other than a little bit down here. Come around this way, just in case they do get access rights through Castile. But mostly we should be able to squash them here. Which is good. Uh, oh yeah, that's right, we can't full annex them. Uh, it'd be nice to get a lot more admin efficiency. That's actually the other thing I keep forgetting. Like, you really want to hold off on conquest right now, because we're on the cusp of getting a lot more admin efficiency. And that will save us a lot of points. So I'm just delaying my admin tech. I'm delaying, delaying my humanist ideas by doing something that might not be the most efficient timing. On the other hand, oh, nice battle. On the other hand, it will be nice to have a little bit more control over this trade node and rip things out of there. Now, we are going to get a little aggressive expansion against him. It's not a big deal. A colonial range doesn't matter. Do we have, yeah, an improved relations guy? We might want, like, a plus three variant here, but for now, I'm just going to take the improved uh, um, relations because it'll help burn off some of those modifiers a little faster. So you're down here and you're here. So this is... Wait, I have the Falklands? Oh, I think I took it in a peace deal at some point. That's right! I was like, why is that there? I remember now. Now, with this trade... 
If we had... No, I mean, I guess everything flows out of Brazil regardless. You know, I'm starting to wonder here. What if... Let's go ahead and set up a Patagonian um, trade company. After all. I'm going to go and grab two dudes off of this. I know he's like kind of far away, but that's fine. There's no, there's no, there's no rush. These are pretty crappy provinces, but let's go and see what we can do. Yeah, let's fully commit to this colonial game. Looks like fun. Europeans are having all the fun. I don't want to be left out. That would be terrible. Keep sitting on this. Okay, we're starting to get Sudmin, but we're going to need, uh, how much are we going to need? 300 points to core all this. Exploration is done. Uh, Southwest Pacific Coast. I'll be over here. Uh, wait. Maybe not, actually. I guess Southwest Pacific Coast would be... Here? Oh, maybe over here. I don't know. Anyway. Just keep exploring. You keep doing you, buddy. I promise we won't uh, suicide you like we've done with other people before. Okay, tons of cash. Building, building, building. Uh, courthouses, I think I just checked. There's none of these courthouses would save us a lot of money. How much? It's only 95. It might be kind of worth building there, but I don't think there's much point. Um, we will want to build some universities at some point for enlightenment, but I don't think we're quite there yet. You already have a temple, because it's 190, see? And they're like at least 0.10. Done. And then we'll have to see after that. Uh, military ideas, yes. Because we're well ahead on military. So we will go and do this. Nothing extra. Leader, land leader fire will be good when we roll some more leaders. Swell. Excellent. Oh, there we go. That got eaten up over there. And yeah, if we can diplo vassalize this guy, then what we can do is we could consider going to war there. I don't think we'll grow them. Yeah, well, once they're vassalized, yeah, vassalize them first and then feed them will be particularly nice. Um, it'd be really nice if Funge wanted to go to war with Ethiopia. But it doesn't look that that's going to be the case. Alright, sit on that a little bit. Um, these units over here, so... Rebellion's basically in nothing. Um, I'm going to step you back over here. Like, there's some unrest here. We might want to do some rebel, but... Well, what we'll do, actually, is we'll stand there. And we'll stand... Can I select you? Yeah. There, and then we'll just drill on those provinces. There's nothing over here. Okay. Uh, so just drill where you are. And... Oh, I don't have any points. Right, because I just took an idea. But I was going to say, I'll make a general there and drill him. And we probably will. Timbuktu, da-da-da-da-da, tax modifier. I don't know, I'll take the prestige, sure. We'll convert Valencia. Hey! Nice when you're converting Catholics to, to Sunni. Feels good, man. Especially if we can get Rome. Uh, random burgers in Borgu. Where's that? Over here. Okay. Well, then you're going to go there. And then we'll smash the rest afterwards. Scholars have expired. We can invite some people here. Plus one merchant. Discount to admin tech cost. Um, I mean, tech's not really something we're rushing the same way, but... Oof, that's a little, potentially some more money. Uh, you know what? I will take this. Oh, and it costs us admin power just to do this? Oh, never mind then. Pish. Pish. Then it really doesn't make sense to pay the power, I think, for the discount to tech cost, because it's limited time anyway. Like, if you could make a lot with an extra merchant, and maybe we could, then it might be worth spending the admin to do that. And we've done it before when we were, um, I think we were well ahead of time or something like that. It was one of those things going on. Smash that's gonna do that. I can enact a reform. Oh, scattering of poison. Oh, oh, I think our, our um, did our admiral die? Yeah, our admiral died. Uh, peace offer, no, we can enact a reform. So we've got bureaucracy. We can choose either centralized bureaucracy, which, uh, gives us le autonomy changes everywhere, or decentralized, which gives us more promoted cultures. I don't think we need the promoted cultures, plus promoting cultures costs us monarch power. 
the autonomy change is going to be really nice, especially as we continue to smack the crap out of more places in the world here. It's going to be really, really beautiful. I guess I could have left, uh, let Funge desiege that for us. Actually, they're already standing there, so I can go and enact plan, move to here. That's the wrong button. Move to here, yeah. And now that you're there, you can go and drill. I will recall that diplomat. How are we looking here? 132. I'm going to, what am I looking for? Economic actions. Um, transfer trade power, which you will like for various things. I guess it goes the other way, right? I like them. Um, there's things we can do here too, but we'll just give them some money. Give subsidies. So, uh, maximum 15, hey? We'll do this, so we'll get there in three years. And then we can get a plus 25. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, we can get a plus 25 as well from just giving them money directly. Now, 25 is not going to be enough to get them there as is. Mostly I have to wait for more of the AE to go away. And we're going to get a bunch by taking this too, which is a little unfortunate. If we offer, I can't remember if we get plus 10. Yeah, we do. So plus 25 is still just shy. But what I think I'll do is I'll try to get them vassalized. Oh, I can't vassalize them while at war. Shoot. I was going to say, I try to get them to vassalize before... Um, park there before we we peace out because then we'll get less aggressive expansion but that's not going to work out okay well it's worth a think oh these guys finally merged up thank you here let's we'll build another five oh, again that puts us over a limit but it's actually okay trade embargoes we're still fabricating uh here. Oh, if I did influence, is that boost? I forgot we're a great power. If I influence you, rise in their opinion for 25 for 10 years. They'll get monarch power. It costs us money. That's going to be fine, though. Yeah, now I can actually also give them a gift. So... We still need 300 to core all these guys. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and um, and do it basically as soon as uh, this is no longer being done by my rebels here. Okay, if I start now, you will get another tick by the time you arrive. You've done that, and you're going to come over there. An expiring CB. Oh, for the insult against Aragon. That's okay. Don't need that. Mosque, 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 mosque. Capped on manpower. I mean, it's mostly a question of, like, if we want to start another war, we need more admin po points. That's literally the only issue that's going around here. And actually, if we're going to start another war, what we're going to do is we're going to start a war against Kalundwe and just return all the cores to Chakwa. It's exactly what we're going to do. Because that won't cost us... Well, I mean, it'll cost us Diplo power later on. Okay, done, done, done. So, we're at 100. I guess I could have right-clicked on the little shield. Erk. Um, and yeah, we're still there. That's 99 with the money. Okay. Boom. Done. Done. You didn't have any territorial stuff over here. No, okay, we're good. Done. Uh, and yeah, that went down a fair bit. That's a lot of aggressive expansion, unfortunately. More legalism. Do we have enough legalism to do our button? Yes, we're at 100. We might have been actually high enough before this, but that's okay. We'll debase the currency. The money shift looked crazy because now we'll be spending to um, fight corruption. But that's no longer going to be the case, so you'll be okay there. Core province is done, done, done. Oh, I need another, um, another explorer here. I forgot. You died. And, uh, I'll tell you what, do more C's. And we're waiting on that. Actually, I think we have enough to start. You here. 
So we'll have a little bit of corruption from being overextended. That's okay. You're in a black flag province, but... Okay, you are going to do rebel busting here. You just going to move over. Yeah, it's an, um, that looks like it's fine now. No, there's still positive unrest. So I'm going to get you to stand here and then drill. To help offset some of that. Uh, we're probably not at our force limit. Indeed, we are not. Okay. So we're going to do that. Spend some of our manpower, basically. We also have a crap ton of money. So taxation-wise, this place here is probably not worthwhile, because this has nothing right now. But these are already have the base building. And I mean, it is double the price of a... of a temple, or a mosque, I should say which I was validating that at point 10. So these might not be worthwhile in practice. You know, given my previous math, especially since there's not that much of the game left. I guess that point is, we're getting 1.2 gold per year, so we would need 191 years to pay it off. Except there's going to be more modifiers and stuff, and that's not exactly straightforward, but it looks like these would not pay off at this point, currently. So that's fine. These manufactories um, make... Because I think this is per month. I, think, I don't think I'm wrong about this. I think this is per month. So, you know, this makes six ducats a year. Da 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 da. Um, the payoff is definitely there. And you can multiply it with production centers and various things. So it's still worth building those manufactories. That's capped out, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna leave, I might want to leave a guy here for improved relations, but honestly, it wouldn't make a point, any point to it right now. Okay, coring done. Still overextended. Doon, doon, doon. Lost that CB. You're drilling there. You do not currently have a leader. Therefore, you can't drill. Okay, tell you what. This guy doesn't need a leader. You don't need a leader for rebel busting, I think. But we'll do that. I wonder if it increases the chance that our king will die if we're drilling. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> more kingly deaths. We've got enough money. We could, uh, if we move two more dudes over here, I'd say, um, start... Yeah. Let me recall you. Just wait one day and send you here. And I'm going to grab two dudes off of this. And move you way over here. Excellent. Excellent. Amazing that we just spend all our time at max military maintenance now. Because with the drill, even if you lowered your maintenance, the, anyone who you're drilling, you're going to be at... You're going to be paying full maintenance for anyway. So you don't end up messing with the lever the same way. Boom. I suppose we could pay a Diplo Power to go and change our native policy. So that we wouldn't have to guard this stuff, but... I don't know. That's kind of alright. We'll do all the C's, and then we might consider doing the Circumnavigate Command at that point. This is a long way to go without any camps. Hey! Our Sultan died! Okay, so our current dude is pretty weak at a, you know, five points total. It's pretty bad. I like the fact that he's got admin. His air is much better at eight points total. So what we're going to do... Royal Marriage over here. Yes, we'll renew this. And enforce religious unity for more missionary strength. Yes. Oh, we might want to change some of these policies. I have to look to see if there's anything. Um, you. Oh, you're rebel busting. So it's not you. There. This is where the king was. We're going to go and put our current ruler there as well. Now, he's young enough. I, he might be at 0% failure chance. Again, you get... I think, assuming it hasn't changed, and assuming I'm remembering correctly, it's you just double your chance of dying if you're leading an army as a general. Just being a general, I don't think, does anything. I think it's if you're leading, then that's when it does it. Uh, stability modifier, okay. We're on the edge from kill wash, sure. Um, and so if I if your chance is 0% because you're fairly young, I don't think it does anything at that point. So I don't think this is incur increasing his chance of dying yet, but we'll see. Uh, current leader, tax modifier, tolerance to true faith, yearly legitimacy. Well, we'll go with the tax modifier. 
we don't really need anything else. I mean, the tolerance is nice for anti-rebellion, but we have no real rebellions going on. Well, I say that. There's a bunch of rebel factions that are brewing. I'm not going to invite a scholar. And if we look at the unrest map mode, like we are doing some busting there. There's actually no busting happening right here. You are going to move there and drill there. And I still like in queue the drill command. Royal marriage. Oh, yes, with the Ottomans. Absolutely. Definitely going to keep up that relationship. Uh, oh, we could probably Royal Mary Funge as well. Excellent. Lovely. So we still have some negative modifiers to burn off, but we should be able to um, Diplo Annex them in the not-too-distant future. Perfectly fine. And here you're not going to have any more unrest. Yeah, you still have unrest. Friendly troops minus five. Right, I guess you were sort of already getting that, but we're, we can spread around a bit more. I think it's going to be okay. If it does pop, we'll have to be a bit on our guards, because if it did pop over here, it would be a little bad, because we'd have no morale there. But I think we'll be okay. Lorcasai does have 29 development. It's only four provinces, so... And it's actually concentrated in two provinces, the development, which might make it worth building buildings here. Although, again, that would cost us admin. That's what we don't have right now. Let's just wait. We're not going to make any more states until we have more admin power. Okay. More sea zones. Um, explore. More seas. Actually, you know what? Rather than going here... Oh. You're starting a war against the Mamluks. Morocco, da 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 da. Well, we're going to say yes, because we want to stay with the Ottomans. This is a little bit annoying, though. Hmm, because it's going to give us a truce timer with three people we really want to go after. We do have some claims. There's a possibility the Ottomans would give me some of this territory. I'm a little concerned the Ottomans growing infinitely large. I think I have to say yes. If we're, if we're itching for war, and again, with the admin and everything like that, we may not want to take a lot of territory right now anyway. If we were itching for it, it's probably going to be expanding eastwards over here. Oh, and we're going to do a little war over here once we've got Chakwa. Uh, which, we can't vassalize them right now anyway. Remember, we can't vassalize at war, but it's not really an option. I guess... Alright. It's a little scary, guys. We're going to accept, and then we're going to put a cut in this episode. How active will we be? Well, we'll probably, we're probably going to be forced to be fairly active. Okay, the drilling automatically stopped. That's good. We still have unrest we're going to have to be worried about for a little while, which is, might keep our, some of our troops busy, which is a little annoying. Uh, we have a lot of money. Um, which we're going to spend on manufactories. Because it's still good. And at some point... The, the nice thing is, like, the manufacturers have payoff over time. Military buildings, it's not really the same thing. It's not like, oh, the earlier you build it, the better. I mean, the, whenever you build it, you do get the manpower and whatnot. But we don't rush the same way. We'll probably go ham on military buildings at some point, but not necessarily yet. Anyway, I guess we'll put a cut in here. And next episode, we have a fairly substantial war going on. I mean, the Ottomans are still, like, massive, like, beefcakes of doom, of course. Um, allies and war enemies. 213,000 troops active, 90k manpower. Like, they have more manpower than anyone except me. Um, and, yeah, they, they, these guys don't have much in the way of troops, so... That's not looking too, too shabby. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.